Morning guys, welcome back to another video. I'm just on my way out to the reef now. I um, I brought a few fishing rods with me today, so I'm gonna go out there, see what the fizz is like. If it is any good, I'll um, hop in and go for a dive, but if it doesn't look that great, I'll just do some fishing and give that a crack. I'm not really much of a fisherman, but um, I've got a live bait tank that I'll try get some liveys for and um, just, tr ooh, just troll around some liveys, so. Yeah, pretty keen. It's a beautiful day out here today. There's not much wind at all. Um, not much swell either. The bar crossing was super easy. It's high tide in about an hour and it's a really high tide for, um, for where I am. So I'm hoping that sort of brings in some blue water, but yeah, we'll just give it a crack and see how we go. We've had heaps of rain lately on the Gold Coast. So, um, it sort of flushed a lot of the dirty water out of the creeks and that, and um, we've been struggling to get some good viz here lately, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get some nice viz and uh, get some fish. Now the mackerel are finally here, so if I get a mackerel, I'm gonna be stoked. I'm just sounding around at the moment, it's um it looks pretty dirty out here but i'm still gonna hop in and just have a quick look around to see if i can sort of see anything or if the viz might be better on the bottom um, but yeah it looks looks pretty black um, yeah i'm just sounding around now for some bait so once i find some i'll drop the anchor in and uh kit up and hop in right here. Fair bit of bait, I'll uh, chuck the anchor in here. As expected, it's super green, real dirty. It doesn't seem too bad on the bottom. Maybe like four or five meter viz. The plan is to just lay on the bottom and hope a big mackerel swims fast. <laughs> fishy so I'll have a few more dives here and then probably move spots. Mm. here and then move spots.
could be some mackerel there. Maybe. We'll check the anchor in and have a look. So you can see that's that would have been where I dropped my anchor. That line there. And then there's heaps of nice bait just behind it. So I'll just do a few dives on the anchor. Hopefully a nice big mackerel swims up to me. a lot more promising there's a bit of bait and um, a lot of surgeon fish as well so I'll do a few more dives here have a few more dives but yeah it's not looking too good What an incredible fish. It's a big graphic tusky. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. <laughs> oh. That's beautiful. 
Wow, you can see it's been shot there. Sealed up. Beautiful. That's going to be such nice eating. It was super fishy at that spot. Heaps of bait. It's been been really hard to find bait today, but um, that's where it is. So I'll keep doing a few more dives there. Oh, that's awesome. Just a little bit far from the boat and there's a few other boats out here so might just move it over here uh, just to be safe Definitely feels like there's mackerel around. Just haven't seen one yet. I have a few more dives here. Hopefully, one cruises in and I get one. That'd be awesome. Cool dive. There was a empty cray shell, and found a little hole. And there was two crays in the middle. Two crays in there. One looked like a painted, and the other one maybe an ornate cray or a battle cray. I don't know. But um, I might have another dive and shoot one of them. Thank <laughs> you. 
So yeah, hopefully you guys could see that. I um I caught that cray, I caught that cray but it was in berry, so see the red things on its tail that, that was all its eggs. Um yeah, that's why sometimes it's best not to shoot them just because you don't know if they're um egg bearing or not. So yeah, I'm glad I let that one go. It's um I might have a look and see if I can find one more, but I'm starting to cramp up a bit, so I might call it soon. Actually, yeah, my cramps are pretty bad, so I, um, I'll just go in now. I might even do some fishing as well whilst I'm out here. Don't know if you guys can see, probably not, but there's a massive bust up happening just down there. So I'll quickly get out of this kit um, and try catch them on the rod. Let's do it. That was sick. Just hooked up to a bonito. It uh, took heaps of line and then it just come off, but good fun. Hopefully I get another one. I'll use that as a, um, I'll use it as a livey and hopefully get a big mackerel, but that's having very high hopes. doing a bit of trolling at the moment. I've got uh, two lures on, a Hauko and a Nomad. Um, yeah, I don't think it's really the right time to be trolling, but yeah, I don't I don't really do much fishing, so I've got no idea. Let me know in the comments uh, some good uh, lures to troll for mackerel, and um, some at the uh, best time of day as well. I'm pretty sure the morning is usually the best, so I might give that a crack, come out like at sunrise one morning. Uh, but yeah, it's been a nice day out here. There's a few boats and jet skis, but it's about midday now, so um, I might might call it and head in. I did get that one fish, that graphic tusky, which I'm stoked about. So I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, but yeah, no mackerel, which is a bit um, disappointing. Hopefully, hopefully next time we come out, we get one. Um, I have heard reports that a few have been getting caught, so they're definitely here. It's just a matter of finding them and getting lucky, I guess. So, so I'm just about to head in now. Uh, I'll quickly show you guys that graphic tusky I shot. Here she is. Absolutely beautiful fish. They're quite rare here too. I, um, I've only seen them sort of a handful of times, so I'm stoked to get one. And it's pretty decent size too. Um, I've got a little scale, so I'll, I'll see what, what it weighs. Don't know if you guys can see that, but it's about one and a half kilos. It's all right, decent. It'll be a good feed, so we'll show you guys how I cook it and clean it as well. I'm just going to head back in now, so I'll see you guys soon.
just finished cleaning the boat. Uh, I've got the fish in the fridge, which I'm gonna fill it up now and cook it up for some lunch. So I'll show you guys how I fill it up. It's been quite a while since I filleted a fish, so it might be a little rusty, but um, it should be really nice to eat, so I'm super keen to, to try it. Here's the beautiful graphic tusk fish. You can see it's definitely been shot in the head and um, must have ripped out. And then I guess just over time it heals, heals back up, but pretty cool to, uh, to see. One beautiful fillet done. Do the other side now. More of that bit of um, where it's healed up is super hard. It's it's almost like calcified. Beautiful fillet. Take the pin bones out quickly. And the other nice fillet. It's beautiful white meat. I think it'll taste very similar to um, something like a parrot fish and um, blue groper. We'll cook it up and see how it tastes. Now's we're done. Another toy. <laughs> um, Nearly lost it. This is. Thanks, baby. So, I taste the uh, graphic tusky that I just caught. Mmm. So tender so soft it just melts in my mouth thanks for watching the video guys i'll see you guys on the next one and don't forget to subscribe cheers is it filming yeah